Do you have a favorite crochet stitch? Mine is this here V-stitch, also called the continuous V-stitch. I have used it on so many projects, either on its own or combined with other stitches, like on this here shawl. It is a lovely texture, even in just one color, and I actually often use this to replace a surface with just double crochets or half double crochets, because I prefer to have a little bit more texture. But it's especially nice if you change colors often, because then you can really see the stitches better. We are first going to see how the basic stitch goes, then another version with larger holes, and last, when we are working in the round, how you join the rounds so that it doesn't show. Like in this here summer top that I had two of my daughters modeling. To start, make a chain in multiples of four. I have 24 here for my little sample. And we start by making a double crochet into the fourth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four. And I'm using American crochet terms. So a double crochet just normally like that. Then chain one and start a double crochet in that same stitch as before, but leave it there with two loops on the hook and then start another double crochet and skip one and insert the hook in the one after and then continue. And now you have three loops on the hook and then pull through all of them. Then chain one and we start doing the same again. So insert the hook in the same stitch as before and start a double crochet but don't finish it. Then yarn over and skip one and a double crochet in the next one like this here and again, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And this is what we repeat for the first row. So keep going until the end and then we see there how we finish off the row. I'm almost at the end now. I just chained one and then again a stitch in that same chain and starting one at the last chain. And now it's important that the row always finishes like this here, that there's like the V upwards here at the end. That way we get even edges and both edges are the same. And now chain one and one more double crochet in that same stitch at the end there. So this was the first, the starting row. And then chain three and turn. And from here on, it's easier in a way that you simply always go into those spaces left on the row below. So we start a double crochet going in that first space there. And then another one and into the next chain space. And now again, as we have three loops on the hook, pull through all of them. Then chain one and starting in the same chain space and like this here, always skipping to the next chain space. Chain one here and there, like that there and again chain and then continue until the end and then we'll look at how we do the end of the row. I'm almost at the end now, chain one and then one more like this here. And again here now we see that at the end we have this upward V last and chain one and one more stitch in that same space and then we chain three and turn and from now on everything is the same so you keep repeating the row two. 
Now I'm making a variation where you get slightly bigger holes. Instead of just one chain, you always chain two. And in the beginning, you skip two chains. To get that to go right at the end of the row, you need to chain in multiples of six plus seven. I have 25 here. And you start by inserting the hook into the fourth chain from the hook. Fourth. And here now you skip two instead of just one. So there. And then you chain two instead of one. And otherwise you keep going the same, except that you always skip two of the chain and then chain two. So like this, and then we see the end of the row. Here I'm at the end and um, the last stitch has gone to the last chain. And here now we chain one only. And then the last stitch goes into the same stitch as the other one. So it looks like that at the end of the row. And then you chain three and turn and we start exactly the same as with the first one we looked at. And uh, there, or you can chain four here. With my tightness of crochet, this is just in between three and four. So you can try both. And then chain two and keep going. So like this here, just always chaining two. And then keep going until the end and we look at that again there. Here again, we are at this stage and then you chain one and a double crochet in the same space as before. So this is how you continue and we can see already that the holes are much bigger. This here is a sort of a lazier look. And then we are looking at how you do it in the round, like in this top. Here I'm working in the round and I have nearly finished the first round. And remember that when you make the round, it also needs to have chain stitches in multiples of four. So I have one chain left here and here's the start of the round and now we need to join them. So, if, so you can see that now there is this upward V here and after that I chain one and start just like normally in the same stitch, start a double crochet, but then leave it like this here at this stage without finishing it. And now we insert the hook into the starting loop here and then pull through the yarn there and the two stitches we have. So it looks like this here, so you don't see where it is. And then the next round, First make a slip stitch into that chain space so that we get in the middle of it and then chain four. And now we start the same way as before. So you start a double crochet in the same chain space and in the next one and then you join them chain one and so on and go round and uh, I'll do it one more time after I have done this round here so again I have the V upwards here and one left and uh, chain one and start a double crochet in that same space and again here go into that chain space at the start and pull through. So this way it doesn't really show where the round has started. Enjoy using this stitch for many projects and check out also this here stitch that can be useful. 
till next time